Hey guys, it's Wes here again. I just got back from PetSmart and I just got a 40 breeder. I'm super excited because I'm finally going to be able to get some Orandas, or one, maybe two, in the next week or two. So, still haven't even taken the cardboard off yet because this isn't its permanent spot, and you can obviously tell it's not its permanent stand. That's just my desk. Um, got some brushes, my magnetic cleaner that I have holding my brushes. See the other side. This came with free water test at PetSmart. I'm probably not going to do that since I have that. I trust that more than PetSmart. But it comes with free um, samples of water conditioner and food. I have water conditioner. I'm going to start buying Prime once this runs out. Um, I have food. Picked this up. Um, did a lot of research on food. I don't really want to spend the money on um, Saki Hikari Purple or Goldfish Connection food or anything. This is cost effective and the nutrition is pretty good. Um, got the small pellets. Figure it's easier to distribute. Um, some fine bubble stones. One in each corner. Some airline hosing. Cut some little holes in the plastic. Um, air pump. I know it's just aquaculture, but it's cheap at Walmart, so I figure if it breaks down, I can just take the one off my tropical for temporary and then run and grab another one because tropical fish don't really need that much of an aerator. With a Penguin 200 going on this, 20 gallon tall, probably should scrub the algae off the top of that. I can't figure why, can't figure out why there's so much brown algae growing on top of that fake driftwood. So um, tell me, comment. My timer down there is set on eight hours a day. So I figure that's not too much because I think brown algae is uh, not enough light. But I do have a window right there and it kind of can go through those drawers a little bit. But I already bleached these plants w once and then I have my little bamboo on my feeder because um, I go to my cabin and tropical fish can't um, last without food. And then I got some terracotta pots if I decide to do some plants in here because this, this is going to be bare bottom. Hopefully that the Penguin 350 will suck up most of the waste on the bottom. But this thing is a beast. It's huge. It barely fits between the glass and the plastic on the back. kind of have to wedge in the bio wheel cover there. And then I have some some batting that I can use after those sample cartridges run out. I just had them on both sides because I had the intake tube all packed in the other side of the filter. So you can see that there. Penguin, oh, wrong way. Penguin 350. I bought that a while ago because I thought originally I was going to have a tropical tank. Um, and that would have been enough for a 45 gallon, which is how much this 40 breeder actually is. That would have been enough, but then I decided to do, to do goldfish. So right now, that's going to be there, and then when I get enough money, I'll get a second one, and then I'll shift that one over, and I'll have two of them. So that's going to work out nice. Um, any suggestions or anything? I'm thinking for live plants, maybe in a month. Um, once this gets a little established. Um, Anubius Friziri, I was looking at that one because it's taller, but otherwise Java Fern, stick to stick to what works. Um, you're probably wondering how am I going to cycle this because those bio wheels are definitely not cultured. Um, I had a DIY trickle filter on my 20 gallon for a while, so I had some biological media and I don't know if I'm going to take the bio wheel off for a second. Not sure if you can see, but there, yeah, there they are. There's those two, and then there's two underneath. So there's four pot scrubbies that are already established. And I'm thinking that I would put two on each side to seed those bio wheels, and then 
eventually I would take them out after maybe two months. So those bioweels have a really good um, colony of bacteria. I'm going to put the cover back on my Penguin 200. But yeah, this, thing's work this thing works great too. It keeps the water crystal clear. A lot of water movement, so I really don't re need that air stone, but I figure might as well. Since my heater is in that corner, you can see the top of it. It kind of pulls the cold water from the bottom um, past the heater, and that's how it keeps it nice and warm in that tank. To about 78. You can't really see it on those strips, but... But this tank, I had this heater. It came with the 20 gallon kit. It's a 100 watt. I'm thinking it's a top fin, an older brand, because that's what the kit was. Um, I was going to put this on the 40, just um, I figured it would have done well if I had it next to the, um, the filter intake. But I'm, I don't think I'm going to need it because. My thermostat is set at about 74, and I'm thinking it's going to stay at a good temperature year-round, because in the winter it's at about 68 or 67. So that's good, because I know goldfish like temperature differences between seasons. It kind of makes them feel like they're in the wild. So I'm not thinking I'm going to need a heater, because I know that 75 is about the top for goldfish, but a lot of people say they have theirs at like 80, so I think they'll do just fine. Um, I'm going to start out with one Oranda, and then if I can squeeze in another one, leave some comments on that. I might get a Calico Ryukin, because I'm really looking forward to having a multicolored fish. But um, yeah, so that's how my 40 breeder is going to be. This is actually going to go right there. That's just all my leftover crap from when I took down my 10 gallon um, Easter candy. Um, so then my dresser will move over and then that will go on that wall. And I'm going to build a stand with my dad next week out of uh, probably the same way I kind of built this one. Out of just there's a 2x4 that goes down in each corner and then the doors are just attached to that and then there's just um, pine board on the side and then I stain this ebony black but I'm thinking I'm gonna paint the other one because staining is gonna be a real hassle for that big of a structure yep that's my tropical and then that's gonna be my 40 breeder with goldfish so tell me how this sounds, comment, subscribe, rate. Have any problems, just tell me. Thanks. See you later.